Okay, your turn to have a go then. What we've done is we've come up with a little game. It is called Google's Magic Peterson Money Making AdWords Game. It's a little tongue in cheek, but and the uh, in a similar Victorian style to my get up here. But what lies behind it is you understanding how to actually do the the numbers behind these campaigns. And um, really, Google AdWords and uh, pay per click generally is just about numbers. It's about understanding how your website is performing, what you should pay for a click, how people are going to respond to certain key phrases, how they're responding to your website, and actually stacking those odds in your favour. So what we've got is we've got two versions. One's called the online sales game. The other one is called the business services game. The difference between the two is online sales go straight from visitor to order in the game. And because you you don't have you don't have time to speak to all the people, you want the product to sell online without your involvement. The business services game really is principally involved with making the phone ring. So let's have a little look at it. Okay, this is the business services game, and what I'm going to get you to do is with this game is follow this little loop round three times. The first time, attempt one that you go around the loop, we're, I'm going to give you some nice conservative figures to work with. So we're only going with a click-through rate of 1%. We're only going with a visitor to inquiry rate of 5%. So only 5% of visitors will then subsequently turn into inquiries. And we're only going with an inquiry or, inquiry to order rate of 15%. So once they've emailed in saying, yes, we're interested in your product, you're not too good at closing them or there's an awful lot of competition or you're quite expensive or whatever and only 15% of those orders that you, you should close. Now what you should find on attempt one round this loop here, and there's lots of little gaps where you fill in your own maths and you've seen how to do it now, what you should find is that you might struggle to make some money at this and what we've tried to do is attempt one is a fairly modest performance the advert is not performing well so consequently the click price is quite expensive um, and then you're not your website doesn't do too good a job of convincing people and then once the phone has rung or an email inquiry in you haven't done too good a job at convincing people either so if you can make money on pass one then fantastic and it says here your first go at the machine uh, you bet a total of whatever budget you want to put in there and you've gained a profit of X. I suggest that for each time you do this you use a, a, a bet or a stick of a thousand pounds and what we can do is have a little competition and see who actually makes the most money. The next time round you go around the loop, attempt two um, I've given you some much better figures to work with. Your website is performing much better in click-through rate, so you've, you've learned by this point how to write great adverts that people click on. Your click-through rate is up to 15%, so 15% of every time that advert appears in that kind of scenario. Every time that screen appears, when somebody searches that, your advert is clicked 15% of the time. Google consequently will give you a, a reduction in pay-per-click price of at least 30%, although in reality it could be quite radically higher than that. But for this mass, we'll go with 30%. So uh, on the second time round, you've got better figures to work with, and that's sort of more indicative of you a year down the line once you've figured out how all this sort of business works. The third time round the loop, really, I've left that blank for you to figure, fill in your own actual figures. Now, if you haven't got any figures for actual performance on pay-per-click, what I suggest that you do is actually work backwards and try and find out what would be the minimum and the maximum click price that you'd be prepared to pay, what would be the, the maximum click price that you would still be making money at, and what kind of performance would you need from your website to make money. So I've given you two scenarios, a mediocre one, a pretty good one, and then your own your chance to create your own figures in there. Okay, so how did you get on? Hopefully you've uh, you've at least attempted your maths. Uh, shame on you if you haven't. Um, remember that to be able to actually do this accurately, you need to create a Google AdWords account. So it will actually tell you the traffic levels, and you can see inside of those tools we went through earlier on, and you can actually see what you're going to pay per click. Um, so hopefully you've had a little go at it. If not, use some d dummy figures and at least have a little stab at it so you're starting to become familiar with this maths. If the, if the maths didn't look good enough, then there's all sorts of things that you can do. You can, the most obvious one, I hope you've spotted this already, is somehow lower the cost per click, the CPC. In other words, pay less 
for an actual click for each click on Google. Now the figures that the estimations I used were from Google AdWords. Once you've got some history with them and you can create an advert that performs well, which we'll talk about in the, the next video and the next event that we do, um, you're going to start getting discounts below those guide prices. So most of the time you're going to pay less than the guide, sometimes considerably less. But if you work your maths based on those sort of top figures and it still makes sense, then anything less is an actual bonus. So lower your cost per click price. You could do it as low as 10 pence. There aren't too many around at that price anymore. Um, you could get a higher click-through rate as I've just suggested. So we used examples between 1 and 4% and then one or two examples we used as high as 15% there. It should be certainly possible for you to write an experiment with different adverts in Google. Have a look at what other people have done and, find, and look at the ones which stand out the most. Uh, you've got basically 35 characters or 36 characters and then the same for the second line and then you've got a chance for a URL in there. So with, with your... Uh, <coughs> With your uh, advert, you've got a chance to kind of design something that gets a better click-through rate. Why do you need that? Google will discount you the, uh, the click cost if you're spending a lot of money with them. Okay, higher visitor to inquiry rate. So we used a lot of examples of, of the site once they've arrived at your site via the pay-per-click. Managing to convert 5% of visitors into inquiries. Now, it depends entirely on the design of your site and how well it's designed, how persuasive it is, how many uh, of their hopes and concerns and fears it deals with. But you should be able to get a site possibly up to 20% uh, in inquiries, but I've given you a conservative figure somewhere around 5%. Again, higher you could increase the inquiry to order rate. I used examples of 10 and 15% and 1 of 40%. 50% is possible you've got to be performing extremely well. Much better that you use a figure, I would say less than that, use a figure of say 20% when putting your maths together. You could get a higher uh, visitor to order direct rate if you're selling things direct. I've used examples on this, on this uh, video of 5 to 10%. Uh, you could get 15% and above. Any of these, uh, a movement in the right direction, could make your pay-per-click maths radically better. Okay, so how can you improve? Uh, again, this is the subject for the next video, but be more careful with your key phrase selection along that long tail phrase. Don't buy shoes, buy Nike size 7 running shoes. More specific, more chance of people buying something or making an order at the end. Create a better advert and run a better campaign. Uh, create a better site once uh, they land because this will only get the click, it will only get the visitor to, onto your website. Once they arrive there, there's this uh, phenomenon called bounce back. Bounce back is the, the amount of times, the percentage that they are likely to immediately leave the page that they've landed at without even thinking about it. Um, you want to keep your bounce back as low as possible because any kind of bounce back is obviously wasting your pay-per-click resources. They've arrived, your website is a shambles and they've thought I'm not stopping here, I don't trust this product or it's not what I'm looking for. You've entirely wasted your pay-per-click budget. Where pay-per-click typically goes wrong is paying too much for the click and then once they arrive at the website, the website is just not good enough, it's not up to job, it's not fit for purpose for actually getting them to take some kind of action, make an inquiry, make an order.